Hey everybody, I am making a quick tutorial video on how to create an ISO image with multiple RAR files. And this is the purpose of this is to combine the RAR files all into one file that mounts as an ISO image. So if you want to do like an emulator or if you just want to create an ISO image for another use, uh, we could go ahead and do that. So the first thing you need is a program to put all the RAR files into one and the program I do on the Mac is Unrar X. Uh, I don't know if this is a program that's compatible with PC or not. It may or may not be, but everything I'm doing is on Macs. Um, and we also can do this on any version of Mac OS X 10. Um, I've tested it on Panther, Leopard, Snow Leopard, Lion, and Mountain Lion, and it works on all of them. Um, if you go down to a site here is www.macupdate.com um, we're going to go ahead and go to this one if you click there there's a, there's a link right here download now 716 gigabytes you go ahead and click that it'll go straight into your folder right there um, I already have it on my desktop so we're just going to leave it there for right now I'll put this link in the description as link one next thing you need to do is get an ISO um, for the sake of this video, I'm going to do Spyro the Dragon. Um, I spelled that wrong. Spyro the Dragon, and then I'm going to go ahead and put an ISO. Um, the site I like to use is the ISO Zone, which you can see down here. MU Paradise is also another good site, but the Spyro the Dragon US, see the NTSCU means the normal game version of the PS, and then the U is for US. Um, I, I like the ISO zone for this game better. Um, the other one was a little bit harder to set up. This one's very easy. Um, it takes time. Um, if you're not a premium downloader, though, if you want to do the free download, it takes about 50 minutes to an hour just because they purposely make it download slow so you do premium. Um, but I, it's guaranteed once the hour is done, it'll work very well if you use the other program that I listed. So I'll go ahead and keep this as well. Um, this link as well. So then what you need to do after this is I'm going to skip the download. Well, I could show you really quick. If you click on download file, what it does is it brings you to here. You type in this thing and hit download file, and then it'll go into your downloads. Take about 50 minutes to an hour, like I had said. Um, but I've tested it, and this one does work very easily. So I'm going to go ahead and open up my downloads here. Here's the Unrar X. You can see they're the same. I'm going to go ahead and just drag this one to the trash really quick. If you've never used Unrar X, when you're done downloading the Spyro, it will not have these color folders. It'll just be a folder, like a blue folder, such as like the systems over here I have. Um, so um, the way it works is if you used Unrar X before, it'll show up like this. I'm going to go ahead and drag it to my desktop. And you could go ahead and just double click and it'll do all the work for you. It'll be complete. If you've never used the Unrar X before, open up Unrar X. There's white space right here where the mouse is. Just take your folder and drag it into here and it'll do it all for you. That's all you need to do. It'll go ahead and also put it into your, uh, it should put it on your desktop. Um, if it doesn't, you could set it up where to, to uh, extract to over here with file directory and just go to desktop. Very easy. Once it's done, it'll say OK. All OK. We can go ahead and exit out of here. And and now to order to work the ROM, we need to uh, go to applications. There's a PCSX. Uh, if people need a video tutorial on how to set this one up, I could go ahead and do that too. It's fairly easy. There's online guides as well on how to do this uh, on the internet. So, PCSX, we're going to go ahead and run ISO. Go to your user desktop and then click on the top one, the MDF. I'm not sure what the MDS is for, but I know the MDF should work. You get to give it a second to boot up really quick. And there you go. Um, so, the hardest part about this is just waiting for it to technically download. Um, if you want to go ahead and sign up for premium, you could go ahead. Um, and yeah, here you go. You got your Spiral of Dragon. 
It's already set up to go in English, too, if you speak English. And you can do everything else from there.